Hey, this is Joe from HomestudioCorner.com. If you record guitar, whether it's acoustic or electric, this could be your best friend. It's a capo. Now, if you're not a guitar player, this is probably even more important. Get one of these. They're like 10 bucks, I think. And have one in your studio. Why? Well, the thing about guitars, especially if you're doing electric guitars or if you're doing a lot of doubled acoustic guitar parts, is doubling is cool, but sometimes it just becomes bleh. You know, you've got a... a, a basic rhythm part and open E tuning sort of thing on electric on acoustic guitar. You have them play it once and you have them play it again and you pan those left and right. That can work fine, but sometimes it just seems too much of the same and it's just not that interesting. What you can do is, let's say he's playing an E. So he's playing open E, not, just regular tuning and he's playing with no capo. And you want him to do a double part. Well, have him slap a capo on uh, the fourth fret and play in C or on the second fret and play in D, or way up high on the seventh fret and play in A. And it'll be the same chords, the same rhythm probably, but the intonation and the, the, the different inversions of the chords and the different voicings, that's the word I was looking for, the different voicings of the chords will be different enough to make it sound much, much more interesting. I did this all over my last album, Help of the Helpless, and it really adds more dimension to the guitar parts that just isn't there any other way. So, if you track guitars, if you're a guitarist, you probably already know this. If you're not, and you have guitarists coming to your studio, get yourself a capo and uh, start using it. It might make a huge difference in your guitar tracks.